Well, we both know she hasn't been herself lately. And with everything that Emily's done to her, you don't think she had anything to do with that fire, do you? No, don't be ridiculous. That was nothing more than karma catching up with Emily. It's about time. As for Victoria, if I haven't heard from her by lunch, I'll go to the penthouse to make sure she's okay. What is that? I don't know, but it's Victoria's handwriting. Oh, wow. And the landscape of the Hamptons will never be the same. That was always our goal. How can you not get a little upset by this? This is your home. This house belonged to Emily Thorne, not Amanda Clark. And it was never a home. It was part of a plan. Yeah, a plan that almost blew up in your face, literally. <sighs> Thank God that you went to go stop Jack, and I'm guessing from his absence that yeah. one of two things happened. I was too late. I'm so glad it was door number one. That, that, that means that you can talk to him and tell him how you really feel. And if ever there was a sign from God to be free and move on. I can't. Not yet. I may have missed Jack, but... I ran into an old friend. Rather, he ran into me. Mason Treadwell. What? Crazy Capote is back. I thought you had exiled him to the Maldives. Can't anybody follow a simple revenge plan? Oh, right. You didn't when you revealed yourself as Amanda. He was furious that I backed out of our deal for him to write my story. Well, what does he want now? You to give him the old David Clark, clear his name so he can resurrect himself? I was called about the fire before I could explain to him that that can't happen. But I'm meeting with him today to shut him down. We've got a body over here! What? My dearest Margot. I write to you today filled with sadness, and I'm afraid I will be passing that sorrow on to you. For that I am sorry. But as I now find my name synonymous with hatred, it's an identity I can no longer bear. I've lost the will to fight, as the pain runs too deep. I'm afraid that leaves only one option that may seem drastic to you. Body's too badly burned to identify. We found this near the deceased. Any idea who it belongs to? I've decided to end my life. Know that my heart is full of love for you, now and forever. Eternally yours. Victoria Grayson.